Hello everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to install the LoRa training environment locally on your computer. I will perform all the necessary settings step by step and start the LoRa training process. Then I will test the result in LoRa's variants. Links to all resources will be in the description in this video. And on my Patreon you can download the detailed checklist where all the steps that I perform during this lesson are sequentially prescribed. And so, Laura trains inside a sound environment called CoSS, which you will install locally on the computer. CoSS is a completely independent thing that does not interact with stable diffusion in any way during Laura training. Therefore, it does not matter which version of the stable diffusion you are using. So, let's get started. First, we will install the environment itself for training LoRa. We go to the developers page. The link is in the description. Go down to the Windows paragraph and click on the link to download Python. Run the installation file. Here we put a checkmark. Add Python exe to path. The installation process has begun. Done. Next, you need to install JIT. I click on the link and download the Windows version. Next, you need to install Visual Studio. I download and install it. I am creating a new folder. I will call it, for example, Koya Training. For this tutorial, I create it right on the desktop. I am going back to the developers page. I am copying this command. I go to the Core Training folder. In the address bar, I write CMD to run the command prone while in this folder. I paste the copied command in the terminal window. I press Enter. This command will copy the repository to our computer. Then I return to the developers page and copy the following line. I insert it into the terminal and press Enter. Next, I copy the following line. The program offers are several menu items. You need to enter the appropriate number. The first point is to install QSS. This is exactly what we need. I write the number 1. I press Enter. The program started executing the installation code, downloading something. We are waiting and watching the process with interest. The program offers us menu items again, so that we decide what we want next. And then there are optional items that can be performed or you cannot perform. The developers page talks about only one item, which is optional. I will help significantly speed up Laura training process, but only if you have a powerful enough graphics card. If you need item second, write to, then press enter. I don't need anything else here, and I enter the number 7 and enter. Now let's run QSS. Go to the folder and run this file here. And now the link is ready, by which we can open QSS in the browser. Copy and paste it into the address bar of the browser. And voila, everything is ready to start LoRa training. 10 or 15 photos of good quality. I am creating a new folder. I'll throw everything on the desktop. And you can do it wherever you want. I'll call it, for example, dataset. In this folder, I put pre-prepared photos with a resolution of 1024x1024, since I will train LoRa based on the SDXL model. The face should be clearly visible and well lit, without harsh rough shadows from different angles, including the profile. The background and clothes should also be varied, JPG or PNG format. For convenience, I cite the photo with numbers. Go to the Utilities tab. Here we open the Blip Captions tab. Go to the Dataset folder and copy the past two photos in the address bar. We insert it into the Image folder to caption field. In the prefix to add to Blip Captions field, we write a word from a random combinations of characters. 
the main thing here is that it should be unique because then this word will be a unique token of this model and then I write man and a comma next I click the caption image button text files with a description of each photo will appear in this folder the program will do this automatically we can see all the process that are taking place in the terminal Right now, the program downloads the files necessary to create automatic signatures. Sometimes it takes a minute to wait. Done. Go to the dataset folder. Check. Open each file and check the description. Here, for example, an actor holding a cat. This is also noted in the description. Sometimes an occurrence is happened. So it's better to go through all the signatures. Go back to CoSS and go to the LoRa tab. To train LoRa, in addition to photos, you need to download the model on the basis of which the training will take place. The model can be downloaded from the Hugging Face website. The link is in the description. For me, this is a basic model SDXL. I put it, for example, on the desktop. It doesn't matter. The main thing is to correctly indicate the path to it. I right-click while holding down Shift. Select the Copy as Path menu. I insert this path into the pre-trained model name or path field. You remove the quotes. Here we choose BF16. Check the SDXL box. Everything is here. We're wrapping up. Go to the dataset preparation. In the Instance Prompt field, you need to insert our unique token, which we called our model. Go back to Utilities tab and copy it. The option to go to the LoRa tab and insert the Instance Prompt in the field. In the Class Prompt field, write Man. In the Training Images field, write the path to the photo. This is a dataset folder. In Field Repeats, 20. Now we are creating a new folder where ready-made LoRa's will be saved. Let's call here LoRa. We go into it. It's still empty. Copy the path and paste it into the Destination Training Directory field. Click the Prepare Training Data button. Then click Copy Info to Respectful Fields. Check in the LoRa folder. The necessary folders with files have been created here. Open the parameters. LoRa type standard. Train batch size 1. Epoch 7. The cache latency to disk checkbox. LR scheduler constant. Optimizer and a factor. Optimizer X target mailed. We write this expression. It will be in the description of the video. Learning rate 0004. LR warm up 0. Max resolution 1024 1024. The enable buckets checkbox. Text encoder learning rate 0004. Unit learning rate 0004. Now have VAE. I will set the network rank to 32 so that the size of the lower model is not too large, approximately 200 MB, but you can set the value higher. For example, 64, 128 or even 256. With a value of 256, the model size will be approximately the 1 and 7 GB. This will affect the quality and detail, but not so much that it immediately catches the eye. We will check what happens of the value 32. The advanced section. Here we check the box Shuffle Caption. Press the Print Training Command button. Then the Start Training button. The process has started. We go to the terminal and watch. If the code execution has reached this line, then you can relax and go have tea. Then the training process itself began. The string epoch 1 and 7 
means that the first version of the model is currently being trained. There will be seven of them in total. Each of them is an independent lore which minor differences from each other. In the final, they need to be tested and choose the one that gives the best result. This is where the program started training the second model. Finished models are saved to the LoRa model folder. So all the models are ready. Now they need to be moved to the models LoRa folder. If you're using automatic 1111 or models LoRa's if you use ConfUI. Launching automatic 1111. You can see our LoRa's in the LoRa tab. We don't see any new LoRa's right now. I have the SD1 and 5 model selected. I choose any SDXL model. And I am updating the page. Here the new LoRa's are displayed. I am writing a unique model token that can be viewed in the text file or in the LoRa settings. I choose LoRa. Using a unique token gives maximum similarity to the original. The checkpoint model can be any, as long as it is in the Excel. I am going to test on the LoRa's and for clarity I use the XYZ plot script. He will build all the LoRa's in a row and it will be convenient for us to compare them. I'll change the prompt to get something more interesting. Let there be a young warrior with a shining sword. The LoRa that is in the prompt should go first in the XYZ plot script list, otherwise it will give an error. The seed must be fixed. The same for all LoRa's. Here we select Prompt as all. And in this field we write all LoRa's separated by commas. I press the Generate button. And here is the result. Now we can choose the LoRa that we like the most. On my Patreon you can download the checklist where I have consistently prescribed all the points for setting up OSS or LoRa training. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel.